Hey guys, this is Aubrey with Hats Couture's Magical Adventures and we are here at the 2021 International Flower and Garden Festival. We are here to try some food and have a great time. I will see you guys in the next video. Catch you guys soon. Here at the Citrus Blossom, you can find the Orange Bird Sipper and a few of their tasting dishes. Hey guys, this is Aubrey with Hats Couture's Magical Adventures and I am here at the International Flower and Garden Festival at Epcot and I am actually trying the <clears throat> Orange Bird, some kind of a, a slushy orange drink and it's very good. It's like really refreshing and really, really tasty. And what I actually would recommend is when you do come to any of the theme parks, please make sure that you bring your own uh, straw. This is a pretty big straw that I had uh, gotten from home because um, the straws that they provide you is the paper straws. And I also want to show you guys my sipper that I got. This is the new Orange Bird Sipper. It would have came, the uh, slushy or the drink would have came in this. This is the new uh orange bird sipper i have the first one but this is the new one all right you guys well i will see you guys on the next video clip for more of the food here at international flower and garden festival catch you guys soon hey you guys it's aubrey and i'm back we're gonna get ready to go ahead and try these trails right now that are marked there's actually five different tasting trails that i can go to so there's grilled baby vegetables boneless impossible korean pineapple skewer and i think it's right behind me for the pineapple potato pancakes with house-made applesauce and then lemon Magdal magdalena cake so i'm going to go ahead and try all these five different tastes and i will see you guys in the next video clip okay hey guys i'm back we're going to get ready to go to the canada booth for some of the um food so they have amazing food here at the Canada booth. So we're going to head over there uh, right now. All right, catch you guys soon. Here at the Germany booth, we're going to try a few of their tasting dishes. Here at the Germany booth, no, not yeah, Germany. This is the Germany booth, I believe. Here at the Germany booth or a Canada booth, one of those. You can go ahead and try the. I believe this is the beef um, with mashed potatoes and some gravy on top, and then also they have the seared scallops, as you guys can see here, the seared scallops. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try right now to tell you guys what I think and what its food review, what my food review uh, would be. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the seared scallops first. Remove my mask. You guys have to be stationary when you guys are eating and you can remove your mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the seared scallop and it also has some green beans at the very bottom. And I'm not sure what these little, um, oh, these are bacon. Bacon on top and smothered with some kind of a sauce. And then they have these little tomato, potatoes. The, the, the potatoes taste very, very nice. They're really, really um, tender and soft for the potatoes. And then I'm not a fan of the green beans because when I eat green beans, they're very rubbery between my teeth and I hate that. So I'm gonna try, you know, even just by looking at the green beans, I'm gonna go ahead and pass on the green beans. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot for this um, seared scallop. I've had scallops before, but I want to see how this uh, scallop tastes. This is the inside of the scallop. Okay, this is a very good dish, but I don't know if this here's the excuse me guys the scallops are goodly cooked, um, well done or cooked. 
because on the very inside it's very mushy I never I've had scallops before but I thought scallops are supposed to be like at least fully cooked on the inside but these like this is like a very mushy soft type of a texture on the inside of the scallop so I'm gonna go ahead and continue finishing it but now I'm gonna go ahead and do this beef round uh, top, top beef round um, meal okay so I'm gonna go ahead and cut into the beef thanks for visiting us today just a few reminders face coverings must fully cover your nose and mouth and be worn at all times except when actively eating or drinking Here's while stationary guests that do not comply will be asked to leave clean your hands often and thoroughly cover your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing and maintain physical distancing thank you okay so this is a very good dish I like the combination of the dish with the carrots the mashed potatoes on the very bottom the onions and the mushrooms and gravy along with the beef it tastes very very nice the beef is very very tender and soft to chew it's not so tough so yeah I like this um, dish all right you guys I will see you guys in the next video okay guys my mistake the booth that I just left where I had the seared scallops and that beef it's located at the Germany booth. I'm passing the Canada booth right now. Well, now what we're gonna do is we're heading past Canada and we're about to make our way to the World Showplace. But I think there's a stamp that I can get from over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to head in there for the um, World Showplace for their foods. All right, I will see you guys in the next video clip. Catch you guys soon. All right, you guys, we're making our way into the World Show Place, also known as Festival Favorite. So we're about to get ready to head inside. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so we're inside of the World Show Place, and it's a little bit more open as you walk in. We have a photo op towards my left, which is very nice. <clears throat> and they have a lot of uh, different types of foods in here as well that I'm gonna try. All right, I'm gonna check out what foods they have, especially on my little tag thing, my little uh, stamper book, and see what foods they have here. There's a lot that you can try that's on the menu. Okay, I will catch you guys in the next video clip.
Hey you guys, it's Aubrey with Hats Couture's Magical Adventures and we're gonna go ahead and try two yummy dessert treats that I had got here at the World Showplace for the um, Festival of uh, Favorites. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the raspberry tart first, the chocolate raspberry tart. <clears throat> Excuse me if my voice sounds really um, hoarse. It's actually the mask because it's dry. My voice is dry. My throat's dry. So I'm going to try the chocolate raspberry tart first. Mm -hmm. I like that. Very good. Now yeah, the raspberry. Don't know if you guys can see that. Fresh raspberry. Very nice. Very good flavor to the chocolate tart. I love that. <clears throat> That's good. Now we're gonna go ahead and try the key lime tart. Okay, so let's go ahead and try the tart. This can actually do it with my hand. It's a very nice consistency, very nice key lime taste. This is very good. I like this dessert treat. All right, you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video clip. Hey, everybody. This is Aubrey. As we make our way out of the World Show place, we're going to head back to the Germany Pavilion because I did forget to do one of the scavenger hunts. For the food scavenger hunt and it's actually in germany it's the potato pancake that i forgot to do so i'm on my way back right now to go to the other side back where i started when i ate the scallops and that beef potato i mean the beef mashed potato so i'm about to head back to germany i'll catch you guys in the next video when i get the potato pancake all right you guys my apologies about this whole world show place when I was eating the scallops and that beef mashed potato uh, dish, that was Canada. That whole section is Canada. I got all my worlds mixed around. So I didn't miss Germany. So I'm gonna go ahead and head to the Germany booth right now towards, I mean, past World Showplace. So I'm about to head over there, that side right now, so I can try the food stamp uh, thingamajig to claim my prize at the end of my, my uh, food trail. All right, you guys, thank you so much for your patience and your your excitement here at the Flower and Garden Festival, because I am very excited and very hungry. All right, catch you guys soon. See you guys in the next video clip. Here at the Taste of Marikish, you can get the cake. It's the lemon Magdalena cake. All right, that's what I'm gonna try next. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and try the lemon magdalena cake here. Okay. And it's more of a, like a dessert type of a uh, dish. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I like the way it's uh, garnished and everything and how they played it the presentation of the dish. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this cake right now so I can tell you guys what I think of it and what my food review would be. I don't know what this stuff is at the very top. This might be some kind of a fruit like a type of a jam all this right here i don't know what that is hopefully i will like the dish okay it's kind of similar i think i know what this um, taste is i'm gonna have to wait but i'm not a fan of the top i'm gonna scoop the top off and just try the bread or some kind of a cake like a cornbread to me It's pretty good. It has like a, a sugary crunch to it. Yep, and like a sugary crunch. You can hear the crunches of the sugar. But yeah, it's a pretty good dish. It's, a, it's a, not pretty good. It's like it's okay um, for this type of dish. All right, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.
here at the Hanami booth, we're gonna go ahead and try the frushi. <laughs> Hey you guys, I'm over here at the Japan booth over here in this area. I'm gonna go ahead and try the Fushi. This is the Fushi, one of Prince Charming Dev's favorite uh, dishes here at the Flower and Garden Festival. And we're gonna go ahead and try the Fushi. So we're gonna go ahead and see what this hype is all about about the Fushi. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Okay, this is really good. The veg, the fruit is actually, I was, gonna, I was about to say vegetables. The fruit inside of the fruit, she is very fresh. I can taste the strawberry, the honeydew. And then they have a whipped cream with some kind of a strawberry sauce drizzled over it, over that whipped cream. But all in all, the fruit, she's pretty good. I like it, it's not cold. It should be cold, but yeah, it's a really good dish. All right, you guys. See you guys in the next video clip. Here at the Germany booth, we're gonna try the potato pancakes. Hey everybody, it's Aubrey with Cat's Coutures Magical Adventures. We're gonna go ahead and try the potato pancakes with applesauce drizzled on top. This is um, part of one of the trails. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try with the applesauce. Potato pancake with applesauce. I hope this is good and I hope the applesauce is cold and fresh. Okay, to be honest, no. I don't think the applesauce goes well with the potato pancakes. So I'm gonna try that without the applesauce because the applesauce is uh, like kind of like warm because it has been, the potato pancake has been heated. So excuse me if the camera's wobbly. I'm on a wobbly table, got surface guys. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try without the applesauce. Okay. All in all, I would have to say this dish is okay. It's not the best, it's not great, but it's okay. But the applesauce, mm -mm. it doesn't really go well with this dish. All right, you guys, I'll see you guys in the next video clip. Here at the refreshment outpost, you guys can get the pineapple skewer. Hey guys, it's me, Aubrey. I'm gonna go ahead and try the pineapple skewer sprinkled in tahini. It looks really refreshing. I hope it tastes okay. See, this is the skewer with the pineapple here, and then this is the tahini. Okay, this is very good. Yeah, this is really good with the tahini perfect. Oh yeah, this is amazing. But it needs something to drink. What? What? But yeah, this is really good. All right, you guys. See you guys in the next video clip. Hey guys, we have two more stops, so we're gonna go to um, Flavorful of Kitchen, and we have to go to Trial and Treat. What? Trials and Trellis. So we have to go to those two food booths. So we have 
two more stamps to go, so as you guys can see. And we are going to go ahead and make our way towards that way, and hopefully I can find these boots. All right, I will catch you guys in the next video clip. So guys, here at the Fiesta Market is where you're gonna find all the Flower and Garden merch. You guys come in here, and you'll find all the Flower and Garden merch, including the Passport over here. They have the ears for $29.99 for this year. They have the orange bird shoulder uh, clamp. They have the keychains over here. The face mask, the one I've been wearing. Cup, the new orange bird jersey is over here. This is like a ceramic uh, type of a glass pottery uh, milk carton design. They have over here a sweatshirt, ears, up here a sun hat the shirt for the women a canister for your flowers to put all your stuff in they have the boot the glass ceramic boot a phone case another shirt right here that one's for 36.99 and then they have the phone case for the iphone 11 and then they have some mugs up here really nice and then they have the the mug right here, which is the the B. They have that right there. And yep, that's all the merch up here. All the merch over here in this section. And then they have the hat and everything. All right, guys. I will see you guys in the next video clip. Here at the Trowel and Trellis, you can get the short ribs. Oh, wow. Hey everybody, this is Aubrey with Hospital Chairs Medical Avengers, and I'm gonna go ahead and try the Korean short rib right here. As you guys can see, this is a Korean short rib. It has rice, carrots, some kind of a shredded uh, spaghetti like squash with some spinach on the top and some kind of a sauce drizzle oh this is not spinach i don't know what this is but i'm not going to eat that i have no idea what that is i think i know what that is kamachi i think it's kamachi i think that's a kamachi okay so let's go ahead and try these ribs i'm going to take off my facial mask a little bit let me stand up and adjust my seat guys sorry about that okay I have to adjust my seat. All right, so let me go ahead and try this uh, short rib and tell you guys what I think and what my food review will be on the short rib. And I like short ribs too. Okay, I just sliced right through that, so there's no bone or anything in it. Okay, that's pretty good. You know what? It's all right. A bit salty for me though. Yeah, that's kind of salty. And I'm not a big fan of salt. But um, with the rice, the rice is sticky. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm not a fan of the rice. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to give this um, a no because yeah, I'm, this is not my favorite. Yeah, this dish is not my favorite, you guys. Because it's very salty, the rice is really sticky. The rice is not loose or anything. But I guess in a, um, some, in a type of like a Korean Asian, um, atmos um, not atmosphere, but in a Asian culture, the rice is always sticky. Um, but and then I'm probably um, supposed to be sticky. But no disrespect to the culture. But um, as far as the dish right now, I, I'm not a fan and it tastes like, um, I don't know if this is meat, <laughs> it really tastes like um, vegan, like a, a vegan meat, like very, it's vegan, but yeah, I'm not a fan of this dish, no guys. Alright, I'll catch you guys in the next video clip on my last uh, dish, see you guys soon.
Here at the Flavorful of Kitchen, you can get the garden grilled vegetables. Alright you guys, I'm going to try this grilled vegetables from the Flavorful, Flavorful of Kitchen. And this, these vegetables are grilled on the grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a, give it a try. This is actually my last trail for the hunt, the scavenger hunt. So I'm gonna give these a try, these grilled uh, vegetable. There's tomatoes that are grilled. This is squash, no, it's not squash. This is um, eggplant, hummus, and some kind of red sauce with some baby carrots and uh, I have no clue. Is that a pickle? I think that's a pickle or a cucumber. I'm not sure. And then this one here, I'm not sure what vegetable this is either. But I'm going to go ahead and try all of this and tell you guys what I think. Okay, let's try the eggplant because I like eggplant. I haven't had eggplant in a long time. I hope this is not hot sauce. The eggplant is cooked very well. I like the eggplant. Baby carrot. Yeah, baby carrot is not really like soft or anything. It's still like hard. Um, and this red sauce is not really hot. Cause I thought it was hot and spicy, but it's not. And of course this is the grilled tomato. Mm -hmm. The tomato is really good. I don't know what kind. Of, I don't know what this is. Whatever it is, it's good. Yeah, I'm not sure what kind of vegetable this is either. It looks like a pickle or a cucumber, a mini cucumber. It's a mini cucumber. Yeah. It tastes like... It looks from the inside, it looks like a... Uh-oh. Sorry guys, I kind of dropped that. Tried to show you guys on the inside. My error. It looks like a cucumber from the inside. Like a mini cucumber. I'm not going to eat that because it rolled on the table. Alright you guys, well that is it. Yeah, the hummus goes um, really well with this whatever sauce this is it's really good but yeah so that was my last trail and I completed all of them now you have to go to the pineapple um, booth to get your prize and I will see you guys in the next video clip catch you guys soon Okay guys, over in this section is called the Healthful Trail. When you guys come inside, this is like more of a relaxation area. See, it's called the Healthful Trail right here. See that? And then you can come inside and you can kind of relax. There's flowers throughout the whole entire section of the area. It's really cool where the kids can relax and the adults can sit and relax. And it's like a trail through here. You come through here and you just walk through. This is pretty cool. Kind of walk through the trail. Whoa, big B. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, it's a little mini trail. And then you come out through this way. And then there's more of a um, seating relaxing area in this section over here. More garden planting over here. And it says Helpful Trail. Yeah, pretty neat. Okay, see you guys soon. So here at the Honey Bistro, you can get the Bumblebee Sipper. The Bumblebee Sipper Cup, or the Bumblebee Sipper Bottle.
All right, you guys, this is Aubrey with Hatsketeers Magical Adventures, and we're gonna get ready to go to the Butterfly House, which is over there by, towards um, the Land Pavilion. So we're gonna head towards that way so we can go see some butterflies. All right, guys, I will catch you guys inside. Bye-bye. Everywhere. Hi, Winnie the Pooh. Hi, Pooh. There's Pooh. Hi, Pooh. It's got butterflies everywhere. See, Winnie the Pooh's trying to catch him. There's butterflies all over. And there's Pooh Bear. All right, we're going into the Goodness Garden Butterfly House, guys. And we are getting on in. And this is the garden where all the beautiful butterflies are flying so magically everywhere, which is really nice. There's different types of butterflies in here as you enter the garden. You just go all the way around. It's like a trail. Oh, there's one. There goes one. Forgive me, guys, if my camera's wobbly. I'm trying to balance my bag. And there's one that's over there that just landed. All these butterflies. We're here in the butterfly garden house with all these different types of species of butterflies flying everywhere, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see them. Some of them are up there. There's all different types of species of butterflies in here. See them guys? Beautiful butterflies. Hi you guys, I apologize if the camera was a little bit crooked and wobbly. I did not realize I had the camera in one hand and my cell phone in the other. But if I go closer, these are the cocoons. That's really cool. And they have a couple of cocoons out here. Some of the birds, I mean, some of the butterflies did leave their cocoon and they're actually flying around. But yeah, pretty cool. Hello, butterfly, butterfly. And there's a couple, there's one down there. I don't know if you can see them. A couple over here. Flying around. All right, making our right way out. That was pretty cool. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Got to see the garden, the butterfly garden. All right, you guys. We're about to get ready to head to the pineapple booth where I can claim my scavenger hunt food uh, prize. So we're about to head over there right now. The butterfly house was really, really nice. It was so cool. I enjoyed seeing it. I hope you guys did too. Um, I apologize if the camera was a little bit wobbly during the viewing of the video on the butterfly garden house. I was holding my cell phone in one hand and the camera in the other. My bad, didn't realize it was still recording. But yeah, I'm gonna head to the pineapple booth to claim my Right. See you guys in the next video. The cavalcade of princesses are here.
So here you guys at the Pineapple Promenade is where you can get your last stamp done and you can get your prize. So you gotta come here. All right, I will see you guys soon. I will show you what the prize looks like. Hey guys, it's Aubrey with Pascatier's Magical Adventures. I just want to say thank you so much for joining me here at Epcot's International Flower and Garden Festival. It has been an amazing day and it was a beautiful day here. I just want to say thank you and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also hit that bell notification for more videos to come. All right, you guys, I enjoyed everything. Some of the food was good, some of the food wasn't too good, but Come here to the International Flower and Garden Festival and see for yourself. All right, you guys, thank you, and thanks for watching Pat's Katira's Magical Adventures. See you guys next time. Bye, everybody.